Hokey dokey. Second example for this problem. If you'd like more of a breakdown, please visit the first example. I will do this one a little bit faster. And just to reiterate, the process we'll use for this one will actually be the same process that we used back in 1.13D. Or I guess really D comes after A. But I did the D videos first, so maybe check those out. I don't know. All right, let's jump into it. So we are finding the slope between these two points given here. So the slope formula is the Y value, 30.856, the Y2 value, minus the Y1 value, which is 4.456. And we are dividing that by the difference in the X values, 3.4 minus 0.4, in order to find our slope. So let's open up Desmos, and we are calculating 30.856 minus 4.456, and then dividing that by 3.4 minus 0.4, and we get 8.8. .8. So where does this come into play? 8.8 .8 should be the exponent value uh, so we should see the term e to the 8.8 t in our answer so we can eliminate any options that don't have e to the 8.8 t so it narrows it down to either a or d so now we will plug in a t value say let's plug in 3.4 it should be one of these and i will choose 3.4 so we're going to plug in 3.4 into one of these potential answers. So I'll just plug it into option A. So 7.65e to the 8.8t in place, uh, which in place we are plugging, um, in place of which we are plugging 3.4. English is not my strong suit. We are working on math, of course, here. So don't mind me. We are just plugging this guy in here. We have e to the 8.8 and 3.4 all in the exponent all right so that gives us a giant number if i've done that right 7.65 yep e to the 8.8 giant number okay so let's not lose track of what we're doing so we get a giant number for that so i'll just kind of leave that in uh, desmos so what we're going to do is take the natural log of that value so i may even just insert an ln uh, around this operation that we did in Desmos to make it easier so I don't have to try to type in this super large number. So let's see what happens when I take the ln of all of this here. So we actually get 31.95, a much more manageable value. So 31.95. And that should correspond to this value here. And it's surprising, it's very close, but it's not quite it. So let's go ahead and try option D, and all we'll have to do is change that coefficient 2.55, um, or I guess 7.65 to 2.55, and see if it gives us a closer result. So let's go ahead and change 7.65 to 2.55, and it gives us 30.86, or 856, exactly. Um, so this option A, when we went this route, gave us 31.95. And then when we tried option D, it actually gave us the exact value we were looking for because we plugged in T equals 3.4. And it gave us the exact corresponding Y value, 30.856, we were looking for. So we break out the eraser and we see that D is, in fact, our answer.